Stevens, thank you for your support as I take over the role of Chief Physician of the GRE. While I understand the higher-ups need a scapegoat for the virus leak, your expulsion seems counterproductive. All the more reason to thank you for agreeing to review my reports before I send them to the GRE board. <clears throat> October 20th, 2021. A GRE report on the state of the epidemic. With the first cases in Zurich and Paris, the plague spread like wildfire. We're dealing with a variant of the 2014 strain. We call it tacky transmissive heron virus, or THV. It's deadly and highly transmissible. We recommend immediate action. All European borders must be closed immediately. All civilian air and rail services suspended. National governments must introduce civil procedures as follows. Isolate individuals thought to be infected. Quarantine anyone who's been in close contact with them. Issue shelter at home orders immediately. As for the dead, bodies should be incinerated. Implementing restrictions now will slow the spread of the virus. We need time to create a vaccine and have begun working with private sector companies. Our diligence in the coming weeks will decide on our fate.
I made it. There are no survivors. Fucking animals. Find the crystals. Susie had them. Susie? Carl. They, they took Carl. What? Where? <sighs> to their camp. We, we must... Susie? Susie, where are the crystals? Susie? Sophie, I found Susie. She's dead. I can't believe it. First Birdie, now her. Damn. Damn. Damn! There's nothing you could have done. No. Except that I sent them there. Joe's men have kidnapped Carl. And I don't see these crystals. <laughs> Ugly motherfucker. He's slow. Just be careful. Search the other bodies, Aiden. Maybe the crystals are still there. Sophie, everything's been taken. Probably took him before you got there. Everything has gone wrong. All right. Enough of this playing defense. Let's meet by Jack and Joe's camp on the roof by the overpass. We're gonna go after Carl and our crystals. Jack and Joe will pay for this shit show. going? You alive, man? Fuck. I'm getting sentimental. I haven't said that to anyone since my third divorce. I appreciate it, but don't get your hopes up. Not the marrying kind. Learn anything about the commander's murder? I heard Sophie's brother mention something about Lucas's death. That's all so far. Now they have a bigger problem. The bandits you mentioned? They took Carl hostage. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, exactly. I'm helping Sophie get him back. Trust. 
That might also help us find out what they know. Just watch out. They might be suspicious, but if you can do it, Ato will let us into the center. Fuck you, okay? Sophie. Hey, why were you on the mission? Friends could have used you. Okay. Well, I guess that means I should wait here. Beat yourself up. Things could have been worse, too. If I had listened to myself, we'd have water, and more of our people would still be alive. You were just doing your job. You were following Carl's lead. Yeah, but I won't let him lead the bazaar to its doom. I see. Why didn't you send Herman on the mission? They wouldn't have stood a chance against that beast. Him? He's strong, but as helpless as a child. It's one damn big child. You don't understand. Herman's almost deaf. He used to be my mother's bodyguard. Has been around us as long as I can remember. And after she died, he stayed close to us. One time, the lights in my shelter went out. The infected broke through a window. Herman blocked the path and tossed a grenade into a nearby infected. He survived the explosion, but lost his hearing. In a face-to-face -face battle, he's nearly unbeatable. But if he's caught from behind, he's as vulnerable as a child. A killer combination, especially for him. That's why I prefer to keep an eye on him. Sometimes I wonder if he's watching over me, or I'm watching over him. You think Jack and Joe could have had something to do with Lucas's murder? Joe, perhaps. He's a total psycho, and a thief. He knew the peacekeepers would hang him if they caught him. But Jack wouldn't let him. He's a coward. He thinks rationally. All right, so what's the plan now? From now on, I'm following my gut. Last time something like this happens on my watch. If you'd hurried back there, maybe some of our guys would have made it. I thought a pilgrim like you was supposed to run like a fucking gazelle. Barney, shut up! What? If he'd have made it in time to help, we'd be having a party. Not a wake. In case you change your mind.
He can be a real pain in the ass. But we'll do something good for the city one day. Bertie, to your help! I gather you were close with Bertie? He tried to be a poet. Kept showing me his work and said all the other guys were too stupid to understand. I never told him how bad it was. He was a good kid. I took him into the group when he lost his father in a dark zone. He was ten years old. That's pretty young. Too young. But he had no one else. So I took him in. If you manage to take out those bandits, it... Jack Cock and Joe Cunt. You think killing Messrs. Cock and Cunt will change something? Death usually changes a lot in a person's life. Carl was wrong. We should have gone after them right away. But right or wrong, we have to help him. He's one of us. We'll rescue him and retrieve the crystals from Jack and Joe. Besides, I won't let them get away with killing my people. Ralph, Susie, Logan, Birdie, they deserve revenge. And Jack and Joe sentenced them to death. So they'll die. Your radio. Yeah, it picks up static sometimes. Go see Alberto. He can fix stuff like that on the spot. Thanks. Aid's all here. Leave, but make sure no one sees you. You two make a pretty pair, Aiden. I'm on the roof nearby. We have to talk. Now. It's about saving your life. What do you want? I don't like what's going on here, Aiden. First Jack and Joe's bandits killed Carl's people. Now Sophie's getting ready to retaliate. You're not a part of that, are you? But you said you wanted me to get close to them. I'm gonna search Sophie's camp. That's why I came to warn you. Rumors have started. You found the Lazarus for me. They may suspect you of being a PK spy. That doesn't seem like it. They seem happy to take whatever help is offered. So they say. But those people hate us, Aiden. Along with anyone who works with us. So if they do suspect, especially someone like Sophie... I can handle them. Lucas thought so too, and look how he ended up. Be a pity if I found you in a ditch somewhere, with a piece of your hide cut out. You came here just to warn me? You help me with the Lazarus. And I take care of my allies. Sophie's just fighting for water, that's all. I don't think she suspects anything. <laughs> you think so? She hates the peacekeepers. She blames us for not helping the bazaar. And for her mother's death. So when we start questioning her people, you better be careful. Thanks for the warning. You gain any intel for our investigation? Sophie's also wondering who killed Lucas. What else would she say? They know if we can prove they killed Lucas, it'll be a bloodbath. Find out from Sophie when she's planning the attack. Keep me informed where you are. Be careful. Take care of yourself, Pilgrim. Sophie, but be careful, Aiden. <sighs> Looks like Sophie's not here. I better look for her. Must, must be... Dad, it's still early. I'm looking for Sophie. Where'd she go? Said she had important business to attend to. But you can wait here with us. If you came to find out if I have a boyfriend, I don't. Which doesn't mean you have the slightest chance with me. 
Because you don't. If you think I was interested in whether you have a boyfriend, I wasn't. Which doesn't mean if you change your mind about my chances, I'll change my mind too. Fine. What brings you? You take care of Barney today. That guy is like a neon sign that reads Big Trouble. Right. Herman, it's better for what? the world. Hey, have you seen Sophie? Sophie? Uh, yes, she went... Uh, she said the... Uh, she went that way. Exactly. How's your radio? Working now? Sometimes it works. Sometimes, no. Roll the dice. Susie, Logan, I swear I'll tear them apart and eat the pieces! Bertie! Ralph! To your help! I love you. What now? Do you remember the beginning of the fall, Aiden? <laughs> Vaguely. I remember it as if it were yesterday. We'd been defending the church against infected for some time. My mother was in charge. She was losing dozens of people every day. She was keeping everyone alive while I was keeping an eye on Barney. She begged the peacekeepers for help. But they ignored her. Eventually, she was injured. It was dawn. They led me to her. To the roof of the sacristy. She saw me, and made me promise to look after my brother. <laughs> she said it as if she was lending me a car and asking me to have it returned intact. After that, she appointed Carl as her successor, with me at his side. You'll grow up to be a far better leader than Carl, she said. But while the world is burning, people won't listen to someone so young. She was wrong. I've been thinking like that all my life, but not anymore. Now I understand, my mother. You have to be ruthless to be a leader. I wasn't ready then. I am now. I think I know what you're talking about, and I know what loss is like. Talking about someone in particular? <laughs> about my sister. I'm sorry. Yeah, maybe you don't have to be. We'll find out. That's why you came to town. For her. Yeah. Sophie, we have to talk. Time to act. The quicker we do this, the less prepared Jack and Joe will be. Aiden. Aiden. And we started on the wrong foot. A sip of courage. Should you be drinking this much before the mission, Barney? Me? <laughs> I got the toughest liver in Philidor. Worry more about yourself, Pilgrim. Where's Sophie? There. On the rooftop. I'm watching you, Pilgrim.
Apparently the peacekeepers are watching us. I'll let them see what happens to Jack and Joe, and that we can do it to them too. Well, you said it was time to act. We're acting. I sent three scouts towards the camp. Carl and the crystals must be somewhere inside the building. Most are probably asleep. There are a few entrances to the camp. The front one, suicide. It's got the most guards. You go in first, we'll move in from the other side. And then we'll catch them in a pincer movement. If anything goes wrong, we retreat to our base. Where? The Tango Motel. Thank <laughs> you. 
Come back again. Some pretty grim stuff is going down inside that wooden tower. Pilgrim. Where's everyone else? They were attacked. Where are the crystals? Over there. Radio Sophie. Fast. Sophie? I have Carl. He's okay. What about you guys? Sophie? Sophie? Are you there? You have to help the Maiden. Where should I go? Tango Motel. Sophie's hideout is there. Run. Fast. Go to the Tango Motel. Finally, someone showed those fuckers their place. Jack and Joe's little field. That's not all, Hakon. Sophie and Barney's hideout was attacked. It could be peacekeepers. Fuck. Remember what you're here for, Aiden. We were supposed to get into the central loop and not get involved in local conflicts. Don't get involved in this. Go back to the metro. We will share what we have with Aitor, and maybe he will let us pass. go, Hakon. I promise to help Sophie. Besides, that's the only way to get to the truth. Okay. I'll be in touch. Inhibitor container nearby. Shit. I'm too late. Sophie! Barty! You there? Sophie? Sophie, report in. Sophie! What the hell is going on? Report in!
Yeah. 